I'm going to be demonstrating how to form a thermoform gauntlet for an enable hand. Now these gauntlets are suitable for the Raptor Reloaded and Phoenix designed hands. There are a variety of thermoform gauntlet designs that have been produced by the Limitless crew in the UK, that's Stephen Davies and Drew Murray, based on some design work that was performed by Andreas Bastian and Skip Meats. The general idea of thermoforming is to produce the three-dimensional form gauntlet, but instead of printing it that way, it's actually printed flat. So it's printed um, on the bed, uh, it doesn't get its three-dimensional shape until it's bent using heat. Now the reason for this is that uh, um, uh, it gives a significantly stronger design than the original fully three-dimensionally printed version. When you print a gauntlet using ordinary 3D printing techniques, the layer lines will go along and through the hinge, which means that rather like a piece of wood, it's very easy to snap it that way, which means that the hinge becomes a weak point. It also ends up with a rather heavy unit with thick walls and a lot of plastic being used. When you thermoform uh, a gauntlet, it means you can use a much thinner wall. It means that the filament is actually wrapped around the holes in the hinge, which means it's as strong as it possibly can be. And those strap holes, uh, these slots, which the filament does on occasions tend to sag down from in the middle, um, do end up being perfectly formed because there's no vulnerability to sagging. Okay, that said, this is the goal. We're going to turn one of these into one of these, and we're going to make, make sure that it fits uh, accurately with the palm. This is the palm that this gauntlet was designed to fit, and the dovetail section in the middle, I don't want to be bending. If I distort that, then it won't fit the gripper box on the back bit properly. So I'm going to be dipping in the hot water up to, but no further than the edge of the dovetail. I'm going to dip it in this recently boiled water up to that line for about 10 seconds. doesn't have to be exactly 10, but something along those lines. Okay, so at that point, when I take it out and use this block of wood, you'll see that it is now soft and I can bend it into the shape I want. So I'm going to give a rough approximation. I'm just bending it to uh, a shape that's going to be approximately correct and it can always be rebent at a later date to fit it exactly. Okay, that said, uh, while I was talking, it's solidified, so it's now hard again. That's all it took to bend it. I'll do the very same thing on the other side. Again, dip it in the water, up to the line, no further, making sure I don't dip my fingers in the boiling water. That wouldn't be too clever. And um, at this point, after a few seconds, it can be taken out again and bent. And again, it's gone soft enough I'm going to make sure that um, it's roughly balanced left and right at this point. So the top should be horizontal. And the block of wood I'm using here is simply to ensure that the side doesn't become too warped. It gives a good straight edge on the side. So at that point it has solidified and we've got a roughly balanced left and right side on the gauntlet. Now, obviously, if you look at the hinge mounts, they're going to be way undersized. That's not a problem. At this point, we're now going to go to the third step of forming. That's where I'm going to dip it again up to the end of the dovetail joint, again for about 10 seconds, and that's going to just soften up the hinge so that I can then form it into the shape I want. Now this is where having the palm available is important because I'm pushing the edge of the hinge up to the edge of the palm where it would mate so that I can hold it just long enough until it sets. Also at this point I can pull the top into a curved shape. Probably not curved enough. I'm just going to dip that into the water again. It often helps to do that up front. Here we go. Just pull it up a little bit, just to make it a little bit more comfortable for the wearer. Okay, so at this point, it's pretty close to fitting. That little bit of slop in there is not a big problem. As soon as you put the pins in, it's going to hold it. 
uh, in place. And if you look at the end here, it's reasonably even, left and right. If it's not, dip it in the water again and reshape it. The beautiful thing about thermoforming is that you have a second chance. If it's not right, dip it in the water and bend it again. So with that, we have a thermoform gauntlet. Thank you very much.